thinking about vitamin K2. So this is a bit more complicated because we have we have K1, then we have K2, and we have MK4 and MK7 and all these different ones. Um, so how is how is GG used in the manufacture of MK4? And it's only MK4 that we make, correct? Correct. Um, so here, I, I like to uh, help the audience to understand. If you didn't get it the first time, you can email me. You can go online to do this. Uh, it's cool. Plant only make vitamin K1. And sometimes they're referred to as phyloquinone a Danish medical doctor and an American scientist got the Nobel Prize in 1942 for the discovery of this clotting factor. And it's never going to go away. And it's found in green. I purposely have this uh, marker here, purposely green to illustrate that. Uh, it is found in green leafy vegetable like kale and spinach, like any green vegetable. And by the way, when the plant make this, the plant UGG to make vitamin K. Remember, mm -hmm. the plant UGG to make vitamin K, human cannot make vitamin K1 like that. Before I go to how the body makes it, the audience read many a time, and I gave you that. There's MK7, why, why is Dr. Tan talking about MK4? Is it not MK7? I will settle the score. MK7, to MK13. These are fermentative vitamin K2, means, meaning that it's made in your colon. We need to have good. If it's not in your colon, not surprisingly, these are found in fermentative food. If it's ethnic food, it will be like natto, Japanese natto, uh, kimchi, Korean kimchi, fermented soya bean, Chinese. Now, what about the West? It will be sauerkraut. <laughs> mm -hmm. It will be cheese like that. So anything that has some degree of fermentation, you have kefir, yogurt. So I have dressing many Western uh, like that. But the longer the fermentation is, typically the longer uh, the MK uh, uh, number like that. Mm -hmm. But MK7 is found in natto. So several companies use MK7, and then they study it for removing the calcium from the artery, making strong bones, and this and that. All correct. But I'm going to touch another one. The only, very exclusive statement, the only manoquinone MK made inside the human body, non-fermentative, is MK4. So, before you say, well, wait, 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 what about the study? Just follow me with this. Don't you think that if you are a health conscious person, that you would not ask the question? If the body only make MK4, don't you deserve to know why does the body make MK4 to the exclusion? The body does not make MK7, except in the colon by fermentation. And when it's made in the colon, pardon my use of phrase, is pooped off, is not absorbed. It's only made for the good bugs to grow there, which is good. The, the absorption part is not in the colon. The absorption part is in the small intestine. That's a window of absorption. Once it go past that into the colon, that's the making of, uh, of poop where the bugs grow. And, and so that's where the manoquinones are made, including MK7. But MK4 is before. So now that I got your attention, I'll tell you how MK4 is made. You eat green leafy vegetable, it'll look like this. It has a head where the pen head is, and then the tail. The tail is called phytel tail. The tail is about exactly the same length of GG, but that's, that's a phyloquinone, MK4. Uh, uh, that's a phyloquinone K1. You need this certain amount uh, for the body to, to, to prevent clotting. When it gets to the gut, the gut crops it off. And interestingly, this is flushed out. Mm. It will look for GG, purposely red color, because this is in the human hemoglobin. And then it's got the same head, 
it will stitch it on and I purposely make you the sound. <laughs> that click sound is that that their transferase enzyme will connect it together. That is MK4, where the tail GG comes from the human body and the head comes from vitamin K that you got from the vegetable. I am very sure the audience are hearing this for the first time. And it's a shame that we now know when the body has been making this ever since Homo sapien roamed the earth long time ago. But it's now I'm hoping that the Japanese scientists who discovered this is now published in 2010. They will get the Nobel Prize for this. That is MK4. Were this to be MK7, the tail would be much longer, like my pencil, like this, this much longer. Mm -hmm. But it is not. It only makes this because the body has made GG. And this is a absolutely irreversible fact. So if the body makes this, it begs the question, why does the body make MK4? The body makes MK4 to remove the calcium from the artery to make the bone stronger for the same reason MK7 is. So if that's the case, then you then help the body to make MK4. Hear what I say? Help the body to make MK4. And how do you help the body to make MK4? Have enough GG in your body so your body will be making MK4. So that's that. So that's my. You know what? It causes me seriously to think about this. I have many healthy friends who are vegan. If they are vegan. They only to eat vegetable. So that means they will, they, will, they will have this all the time. If they have this all the time, I thought, oh my goodness, they are going to have a lot of vitamin K. If they have a lot of vitamin K, then all my vegan cleanse friends would have clot to death. How come my vegan friends do not clot to death because they consume so much vitamin? It's because there is a hemostasis. Only a fixed amount of vitamin K goes in your body to prevent the seals and tears in your body. But most of the other time, it just gets cut off and only the ring goes in. The body does not make the ring. Goes in and then look for a GG molecule. And currently, thanks to the Japanese scientists, more than 25 organs in the human body make MK4 at the site of the organ. So big and more than 25 organs, I would venture to say that is ubiquitous and is all over our body. I am really excited about this and, and all this MK4 CoQ10 muscle synthesis. And that's because of a tiny unassuming compound called GG. Without it, we cannot make this. And probably in time, there'll be other things that GG does. But for now, this three is good enough for me to come. I'm really excited. So uh, I know you, you may or may not ask me this and I'm worried about the, our time limitation. I would say that we have done studies now. Uh, um, GG increases CoQ10 about 20%. We saw that in human. We also did a study, we gave people GG and in, and in uh, older men, they're hypogonestistic which means that the testosterone drops and then they have uh, less thrive. Though in the West, people are interested in this so that they increase sexual activity. But I'm thinking this finding that GG increased testosterone was first discovered by Japanese scientists again, because the Japanese population are uh, uh, um, older than most other population in the world. So they, they have longevity of life, but they want also their quality of life. And they wanted to look for ways to improve their thrive. And then they found out that GG can improve the testosterone to improve thrive. So, so we saw that. So in hypogonestistic men, when we gave them GG and the GG increase, uh, uh, their testosterone. So we saw this too. We we hope to do study to show GG would increase MK4. We are not there yet. And we are already uh, having an ongoing study to show that it would help in the muscle. So, so we are doing what we believe the biochemistry lead us. When I say that we are doing this, we are meaning human study. We already have lots of animal study to show this, and we are part of the mammal uh, kingdom. So in animal study, we've shown this, but we are looking to do a clinical trial 
highly excited. So if you ask me in another year or two when we got all the data come in, that's when, not now, that's when we believe Gigi would be the tail that wags the dog. <laughs> right. So they, yeah, I do want to talk about the trials, but um, one more question on vitamin K. So the Japanese use MK4 as a sarcopenia, anti-sarcopenia supplement. Is that correct? Um, I mean, so MK4 performs the same function as MK7, basically, in terms of cleaning up calcium in the arteries and helping with bones. Um, by making that statement, you actually asked several questions. Yeah. Um, uh, not anti-sarcopenia, is uh, anti-osteoporosis. Oh, right. So currently, uh, the drug in Japan uh, to prevent osteoporosis or the fracture or broken bone is MK4. Mm -hmm. And in Japan, it's a medicine by using 45 milligram uh, uh, MK4 for preventing bone. Isn't that interesting? That's actually a drug. That means it's already a proven thing that 45 milligram MK4 help to make strong bone. It's already done. If you Google MK4 drug in Japan, you can find all kinds of readings about it. I didn't do it. The, the Japanese scientists and the Japanese government approved it. Then MK7, can it do the same thing as MK4? Yes. People who sell MK7 would say, if you use MK7, you can use it a, a hundred times less, and therefore it costs a lot more less. That is a marketing uh, 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 push. If you see many of the MK trials, some work and many do not work uh, like that. So I think that when they use 100 times lower, it's much lower than I think that it works. So rather than 45 milligram MK4, they say it's only 0.4 milligram uh, work. So so therefore, you spend much less money doing it. I look at the study. If something work as only 0.4 milligram, it would probably almost work like a homo. You see, mm -hmm. I don't believe MK4 or MK7 are hormone. They are structural molecules the body make for making strong bone, for removing the calcium of it. So but anyway, I gave you the pitch. But as to the human body, I, I think that for me, intuitively, even if I were not a scientist, every organ in the body makes MK4. I have a duty and a reason to ask why the human body makes it. And my simplistic statement will be, in more, in, a body makes MK4 all over our body to sweep the calcium uh, from the tissue into the bone. In the balance of calcium in the body, it's a very tenuous balance. Normally, if you think of a seesaw, it's 50-50 in the balance. But the calcium in the bone is great, is 95%. The calcium in soft tissue, we do need calcium in soft tissue, is 5%. So the balance is 595. It's very tenuous. It's, it's going to tip. So MK4 is a balancer. It sweeps the calcium from soft tissue to the bone. And if that balance is out of kilter, that's why you've got calcification of the artery. That's why you have kidney stone. That's why you have biliary tract gallbladder gallstone. Are you with me on this? So therefore, only a small amount of out of kilter calcium is going to mess up all kinds of things. When the place that your calcium needed the most is in the bone. And MK4 is the policing of the calcium from soft tissue. You need calcium, but small amount. And most of it to sweep to the bone where it's needed most. And the Japanese were the first to figure out. Hence, they take MK4 to make strong bone. So... Mm -hmm. I just gave you the gist. But if people said that I'm going to stay with my MK7, I, I'm not arguing that. I'm just trying to tell you, to convince you 
because your human body only make MK4, you may want to pay a little bit more attention to read about MK4 and then cut the noise out of people who keep talking about MK7. Don't overread me though. It is good for the gut to make MK7. So we have good microbiome. I don't argue that. But good microbiome is not to be confused with good systemic synthesis of MK4 inside your body.